Good morning, class. This is Mr. Garcia here. I hope you guys are doing great today. Here's just a quick tutorial or a quick video if you don't understand what you guys are supposed to be doing. So I'm going to pair this with a little slide about pop art, what is pop art, and who is Wonder Andy Warhol. So Andy Warhol was an artist doing the art movement of pop art during the 60s. I mean, late 50s and uh, the 60s, I'm sorry. Uh, so he, w he was an artist during that time period. He created plenty of, of paintings, but he was mostly famous for his uh, printmaking. So he, he used to use the method of uh, silk printmaking. So that's where you cover the opposite of what you want the ink to, to show. It's a really complex, uh, kind of complex and kind of easy to do. I, however, have never done it. <laughs> so the way he did it, uh, I mean, what it made him famous is the, mostly the Marilyn Monroe one and the uh, can of soup, gamble soup, I believe it's called. Uh, so what he would do is, since you know it's a print, so he can make multiple of them, what made him look different is just the fact that he had different colors. <laughs> All right, so he would have like he had like hundreds of prints, and he's but they will all be unique because each one had different colors. All right, so what you guys are gonna do is, and I'm gonna make a, a four by four one. Older kids, so you have to do uh, three by threes, so that's uh, six in total. All right, so what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw. We had a pizza, so a pizza is gonna be easy, like this. Okay, a little pizza slice. We we'll had drip, not that type of drip, but cheesy drip. Right here, pepperoni, cause you can't go wrong, and a little bit of pineapple. Now I'm playing. I know you guys wouldn't like me. There you go. Just, just uh, typical cheese and pepperoni. All right. All right. You guys are supposed to have all of them be the same size. So there's plenty of ways to make it to do that. For me, it's easy. Uh, all I have to do is Control V, Control C. Control C, Control V, I mean, and then duplicate them. But you guys don't have the luxury, luxury, do you? So what you guys can do is with a ruler, you can measure out, create lines where everything will go, like this. Well, that's gonna take a long time. You can also take a, a secondary object like your pencil. I'm gonna draw a pencil now. look at the hyper realistic pencil so you take your hyper realistic pencil that I have right here and you measure it like I'm gonna say uh, the crust is almost the exact same size as my uh, eraser to the bottom of the eraser okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place my pencil like that why did I add out so much detail the drip and you're gonna continue to use your pencil as a guide okay you're gonna you're gonna use your pencil uh, to tell you how high your uh, your cheese is supposed to go how big your pepperoni is because I want you guys to have a pretty similar artwork. I want you guys to start working on being consistent with your art. Mine is pretty decent, not that great. Let's make it bigger, there you go. Okay, I think I went a little bit too thick on this one, but that is fine, no worries. It's a simple tutorial. You guys are not going to be mean to me.
squigglies like this, squigglies like that. All right. And you guys are not doing pizzas? Well, unless you want to, I guess. You guys are making your own decision on what you want. So Andy Warhol was, was mostly famous for taking everyday objects, you know, bit celebrities, can of soup. He, was, he would take other stuff. That's That was what the whole art movement was about, popular popular items so think of something that's popular right now don't do among us don't do among us but think of something that's popular right now that you can do that uh, will fit in with this because again popular art pop art you guys you know there's a movie movies are really big right now there's a specific big movie right now spider-man I still haven't watched it, but you guys can do that, no spoilers. You know, it can be a person, it can be an object. You you can, you have so many possibilities with this assignment. All right. For the younger kids, you guys are doing characters. So you guys are locked to only doing characters. And I know I apologize for only having one tutorial. It's a lot of work. All right, and here's where it comes into play. So we said that we're gonna have one, one normal one, right? So this one right here is my normal one. Am I in the wrong layer? Yes, I am. All right, my normal one right here. So what this is gonna have is gonna have everything's gonna be fine. You know, regular cross color right here I apologize for that regular cross color you know we have a little cheese so there's nothing wild about this and I know I'm, I'm not taking my time to color properly there you go Pepperoni and all that good stuff, right? Now the second one, like the Marilyn Monroe picture that I showed you guys. Now this one's gonna be wild. Uh, let me go ahead and go oh, technology. So this one I'm gonna have. I don't know. It's gonna be a green pizza. It's gonna be a green pizza over here. It's gonna have uh, it's gonna have uh, pink, hot pink apparently, crust. It's gonna have a blue pepperoni. Boom. And now we go to the other one now. This one's gonna have a yellow background. yellow background it's gonna have uh, blue crust oh purple I guess it's gonna have a purple crust it's gonna have um, red cheese oh this was disgusting I'm gonna now mute my phone So it's gonna have the per the red cheese. And it's gonna have turquoise. Pepperoni. Okay. And I know you guys are gonna put way more effort into this because you guys are amazing students. Uh let's go hot pink background. Or or is dark pink I guess Boom. let's go for that uh, yellow crust let's go for that green cheese
and let's go for that orange nah it's too normal it's too normal let's go for that uh hmm brown we haven't used brown that much right pepperoni boom feel free to go more intricate and feel free to have like different backgrounds uh your drawing should mostly all of your drawings should be pretty similar in terms of size uh now i know mine isn't exactly the same in each one but they are pretty similar they all have the same components and they are pretty close to each other in shapes okay so this is what i'm looking for you guys to do try your best um, remember you guys can use a ruler to measure out how far each object is from each object or you can use like your pencil to uh compare it to everything else in terms of proportions all right Please have a wonderful rest of your day. Please take care. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.